Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG, where we play games and talk game design. And we're back with more Overland. I feel like you started the last episode with that. Nope. No? I ended it with it. <laughs> this was like a way, it was a transition, so they know that this is the second episode. <clears throat> uh -huh. So, last we left off, we're still sort of in the tutorial zone, I guess, which the Woodlands is shockingly easy. So, we're going to take a pit stop here, and get a it's a useful items zone um which basically means it could be anything right like we might find good weapons we could find more fuel i i think it's usually like a combination of a bunch of things um the one thing that a i didn't dead bodies yeah yeah there's a lot of dead bodies the one thing i didn't mention wow there are a lot of dead bodies oh we can zoom out and zoom in too it's Zoom got this nice like bodies. it's got this nice like delayed camera blur like oh I gotta refocus with the new new zoom. It's Wait, kinda... actually, why would they do that? Because it looks cool. It's no, like motion no. blur. Do you what's that game? Uh, Noct or Nocturne? Noct. It's either Noct or Nocturne. Noct is that um like top down yeah, horror. Noct. Yeah, I, I've so never actually that played that. Does not exactly that, but that has a camera thing because it's actually somebody looking from above down. Mm. So maybe the camera blur is like it could just be an aesthetic thing. It could also be being like somebody's Someone's watching. Someone's watching. Above. That would be interesting. So very interesting. That does remind me. My question to you that mm. that I've been wondering is what is uh, ultimately the point of um, this game? Yeah, yeah. I've, so. Like, a lot of survival games, it's not just surviving, it's get to a point, mm -hmm. or get to a, like, point where you're not surviving anymore, mm -hmm. instead you're living. So, so really, the, the end game right now, at least in the very, very early alpha, is just to escape, I guess, the region. Um, so, like, once we get through here, we're gonna go into a mount the mountains, um, and then just, like... Once we get past that, that's the end of the game because it's an it's an alpha pre alpha even so. There's, I guess, no end game yet. So the point is really just survival for the sake of survival at the moment. All right. Um, Saban, do some stuff. Saban. So this what I'm carrying right now the like pallet that's so actually like a shield. yeah I can use it as a shield but really what it's even better for is uh. I can use it to push enemies away, which means ah. I don't have to damage them. Ah. And that doesn't cause any noise either. So it's there's a huge advantage to that. That's pretty awesome. We're going to pause real quick. I'm having a lot of issues with this mouse. I don't know if it's because this battery sucks. Or if it's because the computer's so far away. But I didn't have issues with this a moment ago. Yeah, see, now it's fine. <coughs> Are we good? No. Okay. like I'm making my really annoying voice right now. Like, I know everything about game design. <laughs> You're always making that annoying voice. I know. <laughs> I know, because I knew everything. <laughs> you couldn't possibly understand. You'll understand when you level up some more. <laughs> Get it? You could... Never mind. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Okay, I think we, we're okay now. Yeah. It might have just been the battery. <coughs> Fine. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we're back. We're back. So, uh, Daryl, I forget. Throw a rock. You don't have a rock. I don't want to. Th- well, I could throw, throw the bottle. bottle, but there's no point. You know what's point. awesome is that you're just gonna throw something at them anyway. What do you mean? I want to see the monster spawn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can do that. So, can you get out of the car? Like once you get in it. Yes, but that takes another action. Ah, okay. So if you're in the car, are you just safe? Uh, technically, you're a little safer. So um, if you, you don't make noise when you're in the car. So first of all, you tend to not attract enemies unless... I think unless you, they are already adjacent to you. Um, here, I'll show you the shove mechanic. Boom! Ah, look at that. Done. Of course, I'd spend an action to do that, but that's okay. Um, so... The car also adds defense. Um, you can kind of see this little shield right here on uh, this guy. This means that I'm getting an armor bonus um, because these guys don't have that. And if you're in the car, oh, maybe you don't. Maybe only, oh, there are some armored cars. So I guess that's what that that means. Ah. Which is kind of cool. I didn't realize that until now. So we're going to go ahead and throw this bottle. <laughs> okay, boom. So now we, we get these little... Th- divots that appear um oh they they crawling out of the ground yeah tremors it is very tremors because the more sound we make the more we're going to attract the baddies hopefully there's gas in here nope just a pipe cool this did not cool this did not go as planned maybe we should have gone to the gas station the other interesting thing is that uh you can never backtrack and the map. You can only ever go forward, which makes sense for the most part, but man, Design sometimes wise, it doesn't have to necessarily make sense. Yeah. So just... It it's good <clears throat> it makes sense like as far as like gameplay goes. Oh, this is fun too. So say uh the guys inside the car have actions and this person doesn't, I can just pull them in. Ha uh, obviously the animation is still them just like walking into the car, but Yeah, but I mean that's still pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, who knows? That, that'll probably change too, since this is still in like early Can alpha. You run the creature over. Mm-hmm. It will damage the car, though. So okay, I guess that's fair. Ooh, okay. So we are going to run out of gas. <coughs> oh, how about that? This is going to be fun. Um, I've only ever had out this happen. Gas. Oh wow, this actually is going to work very well because there's a new car right here. And I came prepared with my handy dandy, oops, handy dandy, CPR training gun, toolbox. Yeah, buddy. So it, you, that allowed you to fix the car, and now you can drive that. Yep, exactly. Nice. Cars are actually really cool in this game too. Much like the humans, um, they can have various randomizations. So like some cars will be bigger. They'll be able to house four people instead of three. Some of them have armor. Some of them have more storage slots. Um, it's actually really cool. I think that they've set themselves up for a lot of potential in um, that 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 amount of versatility, but still remaining constrained or confined into the the design limitations. Pretty awesome, actually. Um, yes. So, what happens if there wasn't a car here? Or will there always be? So, there isn't always a car. Ah. And, or, or say I didn't have a repair box or a toolbox. Um, then you just hoof it. You actually just have to bring the guys off to the side of the screen. And, and, then, and then you just, much like what you do with the car, you just click that arrow and then everyone runs off. There is one design flaw with it, though. Say all my guys were back here, and I had one guy all the way up here. If that one guy clicks the arrow and is like, all right, let's boogie, they all just, like, walk past all the monsters like, ha-ha, we're invincible. Um, capture I don't, the flag. It's, uh, you know, yeah, the war stops once you capture the flag. I don't know how they they would... I, see, and that's a difficult difficult thing to design around, too. Like, that's that's a legitimate design challenge. Because how do you fix... That's a design flaw, but, like, what do you do to, like, I don't know, make I, I that fair? Um, it actually reminds me of, uh, mm, this is a weird example, but Final Fantasy IV, when you start running with the characters, like, and you're trying to get off screen, some of, instead of it being, like, a lot of other games where all of your characters will escape or none will, it would, 
like randomly just like some characters would leave and the fight ended once all characters had run off screen or if some of them died so like if two people fell in combat and you ran away with the other three or whatever you would be fine you would run, mm. you would or if all the all the characters ran away but one and then he died this the fight would st- like you would still run away but mm. that person would be down so what they could do is you get one person to the end of the screen and you can choose to leave but the rest of the people have to leave the screen or you lose them yeah yeah I can see that. I mean, you can leave uh, characters behind in this game, too. Oh, okay. Well, see, there you go. That's that's pretty awesome, though. Yeah. So, uh, tell me about, like, the character quirks and stuff like that. Are there... you Because you were talking about how they talk to each other and stuff. Is there ever, like, a moment where they just, like, straight up betray you or anything like that? I haven't seen that yet. After you've invited someone into your party, I, I don't think they will betray you. Um, but there's certainly that potential, right? Um, there are characters that will attack you and be like, they, I don't know. They don't I, want to join you like, straight off the bat, they attack you. Yeah, they don't want to join you and they're just like, I want your stuff. Yeah, makes sense. There should be a lot of that in a post apocalyptic world. Right, it only makes sense. Um,. Something else, too, that I didn't note was that we can siphon gas out of cars. Oh, that's pretty um, cool. But it's only functional cars, right? So, like, cars like this, they don't have anything in them. Um, so, if you didn't have a repair kit, you could siphon gas off of this one. Mm-hmm, exactly. Video. Okay. Sweet. So, now we're going to damage the car because I think we're blocked. Unless, I might actually just be able to... Okay, yeah, I just, like, drove through it. Yeah. I mean, it works. <coughs> That's awesome. I think much like people, the cars can only take about two hits generally before they break, too. Oh, no. Uh, so we have 15. We're going to go... We're just going to get past the woodlands at this point. Well, we can get past the woodlands on the next oh, episode. Oh, dang! Dang, son. Dang! So, um, in this, I mean, the biggest thing that happened in this one was running out of gas. So I think that's probably what we should talk about. So... Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think the biggest question as far as running out of gas goes is should it should we have had di- more dire consequences for it? Um, I feel like all the solutions were kind of given to us in that scenario. Mm-hmm. However, we're still sort of in the tutorial zone, um, and that obviously gets a lot more difficult when there are new monsters. There was there was a bigger and scarier monster there, but he still acted just like the other ones. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean. I, I think right there you hit the nail on the head though. Should there have been dire, more dire consequences? Mm-hmm. That's that's good enough. Yeah. And and even if there should be, what should they be? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to vote if you want to see us play more Overland or any of these other games up here because we will happily play them. Please vote. See you guys later. Whatever gets the most votes gets to be played, except for Nathan. My age. All these games, and we decided to play you. <laughs> oh, what a boring game. <laughs> Bye, everybody.